Matka gambling sata king. Matka gambling o sata is a form of betting and lottery which originally involved betting on the opening and closing rates of cotton transmitted from the New York Cotton Exchange to the Bombay Cotton Exchange. It originates from before the era of Indian independence when it was known as Ankada Jugar. In 1960s the system was replaced with other ways of generating random numbers including pulling slips from a large earthware pot known as matka or dealing with playing cards. Matka gambling is illegal in India. As per the Public Gambling Act 1867, both betting establishments and Sata Matka houses were outlawed completely. Whoever is caught playing the game will be punished. In the original form of the game, betting would take place on the opening and closing rates of cotton as transmitting to the Bombay Cotton Exchange from the New York Cotton Exchange via teleprinters. In 1961, the New York Cotton Exchange stopped the practice which caused the Panthers to look for alternative ways to keep the matka business alive. A Sith immigrant from Karachi, Pakistan, Ratan Khatri introduced the idea of declaring opening and closing rates of imaginary products and playing cards. Numbers would be written on pieces of paper and put into matka, a large earthen pitcher. One person would then draw a cheat and declare their winning numbers. Over the years, the practice changed so that three numbers were drawn from a pack of playing cards, but the name Matka was kept. In 1962, Kalyan Jibhagat started the Worldly Matka. Ratan Khatri well introduced the New York Worldly Matka in 1964 with slight modifications to the rules of the game with odds that were more favorable to the public. Kalyanji Bhagat Matka ran every day of the week, whereas Ratan Khatri Matka ran only five days a week from Monday to Friday. And later, as it gained immense popularity and became synonymous with his name to begin called Main Ratan Matka. During the flourishing of textile mills in Mumbai, many wheel workers played Matka, resulting in bookies opening their shops and in and around the mills areas, predominantly located in peril in Central Mumbai and Kaldiveri in South Mumbai. The decades of 1980s and 1990s saw the matka business reach its peak. Betting volumes in excess of RS 500 crore would be laid every month. The Mumbai's police massive crackdown on the matka dance forced dealers to shift their hideouts to the city outskirts. Many of them moved to Gujarat, Rajasthan, and other states. With no major source of betting in the city, many Panthers were attracted to other forms of gambling, such as online and dub hat lotteries. Meanwhile, some rich Panthers began to explore betting on cricket matches. In 1995, there was more than 2,000 big and medium-time bookies in the city and neighboring towns, but since then the numbers have declined substantially to less than 300. During that 2000s, the average monthly turnover was remained around RS 100 crore. The modern matka business is centered around Maharashtra. To play a gambler chooses three numbers between 0 and 9. The three chosen numbers are added together and the second digit of this resulting number is noted down alongside the original three chosen numbers. This leaves the gambler with four numbers from which point they may bet on the various like hoods of the numbers on number sequences appearing or being chosen from the pot. The leader of Matka Gambling Syndicate is called a Matka King. There was two of them, Kalyanji Bhagat and Ratan Khatri. The Matka business and the lives of the Matka Kings also had an influence in Bollywood. Prem Nath played Ratan Khatri in the Ferris Khan from Jharamatra which was based on the life of Khatri. Khatri himself financed and even acted in the movie. Rangila Ratan, subscribe to our channel, press thumbs up, bye bye.